Hey guys, so for those that um, don't follow me on Instagram or Twitter, show the best way yesterday. Just um, he wasn't acting normal, and then we were supposed to be on a morning flight out, but because of weather, we were delayed, and then as the day got on, he basically, I don't know if he had a stroke or a seizure or what, but he was basically comatose, and then um, we finally, somebody was doing a charter plane, we got a seat on that, we were waiting for the snowmobile to come pick us up to take us to the airport, and he died in my arms. I tried to do CPR, but... <laughs> Sorry. So... Yeah, so he's gone. It was only two and a half, which I think is like the hardest thing, because it's like, I barely had him. Like, I mean, it feels like I've had him my whole t life, like he was my baby. And, but on the other hand, like, he was supposed to live like 15 years. I was counting on him living like 15 years. I didn't think I was have to go through this. My cat is like 13. 13? Yeah. He's still alive and well. Like, I thought he would go well before Shulva ever would. <sighs> but anyway. So, I don't know. I got him to the vet yesterday once we landed. And they're gonna cremate him and give me a little urn and stuff. Um, and then I went and I checked into my hotel and I was good. Like, I talked to my mom, and she's so upset too, like my whole family is, as much as they didn't want me to have him, <laughs> like it would, I was told no and I still got him, and then they fell in love with him, um, uh, everyone loved him, he was like the perfect dog, um, anyway, so, oh god, I'm sorry, I'm such a mess, I was good, and that's why I decided to film the video, and then as soon as I started talking to you guys, anyway, so, Anyway, I was good, and then I went to bed at, like, 1, woke up, like, 3, and it just, like, hit me. Like, he's gone forever. And, like, oh, I was having, like, flashbacks to, like, when I felt them stop breathing and when I felt his heart stop. And, like, when I was at the vet, when I said goodbye, I don't know, it's just hard to believe, like, I'm never gonna get to hug him again. But anyway... I just wanted to let you guys know, um, so I don't know when I'm going to be posting a video, because I left both my cameras in my apartment, <laughs> um, because, I don't know, I guess I didn't think I was going to be vlogging at all, um, but I obviously am, because I want to keep you updated. So, I didn't obviously meet with the birth mom, because she was supposed to meet with me yesterday, but I got here so late, and on top of that, with Sholva, I was like, no, I can't, I can't meet with you. Um, so that didn't happen. So no baby for me last night. Um, but I am getting another dog. Um, I need, I need it. I just, I can't live where I live without, without something with me. So during Christmas time is the best time to get it because I'm there for two weeks and I can get into the swing of things and, um, anyway, I found a beautiful little girl, um, never thought I would get a girl pet because I've always had males, um, but I don't know. I was looking at other dogs and then I saw her and I said to my mom, I know she's really cute, but it's a she. And I don't know, she stole my heart, so hopefully I'll be getting her tomorrow. Um, there's two, there's two dogs, two females there, um, but I'm pretty sure I know which, I'm pretty sure I know which one I'm going to get, so. So, hopefully I'll have her tomorrow. So, even though I won't let her sleep in my bed until, like, six months old, like, when she's properly potty trained, it's still, I'm still happy to have, like, to have her for, for cuddles and stuff. Um, so anyway. <sighs> Stupid Christmas. At least with her now, for Christmas, it won't be as bad, because my mom had bought Shulva all this stuff, and... It's like, ugh, and then like his, his Berg boxes, I have his channel, I have his email address, I have, um, 
all my geocaching stuff is under his name. I have all the dog scout stuff under his name. Like, and my home study, I probably should actually have it redone or do an update or something because now I don't have them. So that was like part of my home study and now it's not. But he went, he saw the Mike students for the last time on Wednesday. So they were cuddling him and I'm so glad they got to see him. I should have known something was up. He hasn't been himself since September when we had to fly out for that. So, I don't know. I just thought I would have more time with him, I guess. But anyway, I'm a mess. But at least my little baby girl, puppy, she is a, a Chihuahua Terrier mix. So we'll see how well this goes. I wanted to get a dog that didn't require a lot of grooming because Sholva was always a mess where I lived because when I got him, I was living in the city and then when he was six months old, they got hired where I work now. So I wasn't planning on not being able to take him to the groomer all the time, but now knowing I can't take a dog to the groomer, I want something a little lower maintenance. So she should hopefully be a little lower maintenance. The thing is, I'm just thinking of all the training again. Like um, my friend said, get a dog from the Humane Society, but... Most of them are older, most of them are bigger, and I need a dog that I can train the way I want to train him, her, train her, and also um, because I travel and stuff like that, I wanted her to get used to that while well, she's a puppy, because that was how Shova was, but I mean, Shova was perfect, so I'm sure even if he was two when we started traveling, he would have been perfect, because every, uh, I had so many compliments all the time on how well behaved he was, and how quiet he was, and he was just so perfect. But I guess having a perfect dog for two years is better than having, not having him all. Like, uh, I don't know. I just wish I had him for longer. Uh, I'm sorry. But anyway, I just wanted to give you that update. Uh, I should have waited till I was less of a mess, but I wanted to you guys know what was going on I don't know what I don't know what happened I honestly don't I'm pretty sure it was his liver because that was what the issue was in September yes yeah, sure there was his hips in his spine but the main issue was still his liver and I think it just got to a point where his body couldn't handle it anymore and it makes me wonder if the vet knew that and just didn't tell me that <laughs> or what like I don't know it's just been really hard on my whole family and all my friends and stuff because they know they know him and how awesome he is and everyone loved him. Everyone, yeah, it's just hard. But at least now with getting her, I know that I'm not going home to like to my apartment. I won't be going home to something empty but full of dog stuff because I mean. We were waiting for the, the snowmobile to come to go to the airport, like, uh, so all I did was I had a stroller with me, so when he passed, I threw that in the house, I put him in the carrier, because I couldn't carry him, and then, um, and then went, so I still have, like, his leashes and stuff with me, because, I mean, I was planning on having him with me. Um, the hotel was really nice, because, like, when I was checking in, they mentioned something about, oh, your dog, or checking in with the pet, and, of course, I can't keep myself composed, but then, um, I ordered room service, because I was starving, because I only, I ate first thing in the morning, and then by the time I got to the hotel, it was, like, 8 p.m., and anyway, um, I guess one of the manager's dogs had just passed, so they bought me a meal, or they gave it to me free, whatever, um, so that was really nice, um. I'm worried about tomorrow because I haven't flown by myself without him, like, well, since Korea when I didn't even have him, like, the only time I ever haven't had him was when I went on the cruise, when she was in boarding and I was with my brother, so that and, oh, I went to Washington the year I got him, but I mean, I have him booked as coming with me. But he's not. But I didn't want to unbook it because I just figured it was not worth the hassle. And plus, I want to keep it booked for coming back because I will have my little baby girl with me. So, anyway, this is a really long vlog. I'm sorry. 
Um, so hopefully, um, tomorrow maybe I'll be able to get a vlog in with my new baby girl, or maybe Monday. Um, my flight tomorrow is at like 5 a.m. So, yeah. But anyway, I hope you all have had a better weekend than I have, and um, thanks for watching. Bye.